Welcome to my unboxing and first look at my new tripod. So this is a Manfrotto something or other. Can't remember what it is, but we'll open it up. Got really good reviews on the uh, on the online store that I bought it from. So I'm hoping that it's that it's awesome. It's also rated for the for the weight of my new camera, which is the Sony FS700, which is right over there. So this will be part of the whole new setup for Linus Tech Tips that I am extremely excited to bring to you. Now, if you guys have been following my channel for a long time, then you'll probably remember back when I unboxed my Canon XA10 camera when we, uh, when we first upgraded from our ancient Sony like tape camera that we were using before that. And uh, what you'll probably also remember is that I don't really know anything about, about you know, AV equipment at all. So me unboxing these puts me a little bit out of my element, but it's okay because guys like Diesel and Cameraman will, will help me. And uh, actually better yet, they won't help me at all. They'll just not make it so I don't have to deal with it. Because I can handle like SSDs and computer hardware, but when I get into this kind of stuff, I just get confused. All right, so it comes with a carrying sack, which is nice. Okay. It's like a kid at a candy store, but they're like diabetic, so they can't eat the candy, but it's like still exciting because, you know, it's a candy store and there's lights and sound and, you know, exciting stuff going on. Okay, so there's that. So this is a kit. It comes with, woo, it comes with a fluid head as well as the tripod unit itself. I think it's rated for like 12 pounds or something like that. And our camera's only about, about eight pounds. Maybe I'm thinking kilograms. I don't know, man. Okay. It's just kind of, yeah. There's probably some kind of feet on the bottom here that are making it hard for me to get it in and out of the bag. There we go. All right. So there's our, there's our baller new tripod. So let's start with unlocking it, which is done like this. Okay, it's got little locks on here to make it so it doesn't just randomly come apart. So I'll pin in that one for some reason. Okay. It's got little rubber feet on here. See that? See that texture? And then you can... Okay, these are something. I don't know what these are for. Go ahead and sort of take this apart somehow. Whoa! And then everything's coming apart now. Awesome. This seems to be some kind of like stabilization doodad that involves this being actually quite heavy and difficult to maneuver when I'm holding it up like this. All right, there we go. Okay, so the stance is pretty wide. Go ahead and put it right there. And then once we've, oh, yeah, we're good, we're filming. Uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, so we unclip these. And then I guess it'll extend for us. Oh, there we go, there we go. That's better. Once we unclip those, we can get a better idea what kind of height we're gonna see with this thing. Because that's how tripods are rated, right? They're rated like in terms of height. More height is better. Actually, I don't know. Cameraman's giving me a look right now. Like I said, I don't know anything about this stuff. I just know what the, uh, what the video folks say we need in order to make like more better videos. And then I try and uh, try and make that happen. Okay, so there's more extension here. Oh, okay. Wow, this thing's gonna get pretty big indeed before we're done with it here. Uh, gonna have to get this box out of our way. Look, it's like growing. It's like a transformer or something. Actually, it's tripod, but uh... okay. So it's got about a six foot stance on the thing, and it's uh, yeah about five. Yeah, it must be about five feet tall. So it comes with, uh, as I mentioned, I've got a kit. So it comes with the fluid head. I forget what the part number is, but it's probably some, some part number or other. Here, I can find out for you guys. Imagine more, something, 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 something. Yep, yeah, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't say anything. Oh yeah, MVH502A. And then the, uh, so that's the pro video head. Cool. And then the tripod itself, is the 545 or the 546B or something like that. So basically to mount it on here, all we gotta do is slide this bad boy in. So we already took the, uh, the mounting piece out and put it on the camera. So you can hear it clip into place there. And then you lock it in place using this guy right here. And then it, in theory, doesn't go anywhere. Also comes with one other accessory and that's uh, this piece right here. 
So we're just gonna, you can mount it on either side. If you're a lefty, then uh, I'm sorry. And uh, you can, you, but you can still use this product. I'm just kidding, I have nothing against left-handed people. They're wonderful, you know, most of the ones I met. So there we go. This, oh, this probably has to, uh, oh no, it looks like this just freely moves. Oh, maybe it just isn't quite tight enough yet. Yeah, there we go. So once you've tightened it in place, to, to, or tightened it, locked it in place this way, then you keep going a little bit further and the handle itself locks into place. You can adjust the fluidity, the drag system here, as well as here. So you can either set lots of resistance or very little resistance. And then there's a level right here to help you make sure that, uh, well, your camera tripod mount system is level. So there we have it. We now have our new camera mounted to our new tripod.